we had we had ordered about 75 to 80 Capitals jerseys somewhere around January 1st, and six of them sold until last month. And then since last month, we're down to now six jerseys. It's a very exciting time, you know. It's 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 that once a year feeling that you don't want to be disappointed again, but at the same time, your team is playing for the Stanley Cup or in Major League Baseball or you know basketball. It's all phenomenal. Everybody's excitement, like it's the level of excitement has gone up 10 points here in Washington. I'm thoroughly excited. Um, I think that more than it helping my business, I'm excited because my kids are major Caps fans. I'm a Caps fan because my kids were born here. I think I'll always be a Rangers fan. And now I'm sort of leaning towards the Las Vegas Knights also because my family lives out in Las Vegas. And that's a Cinderella story in itself. But I think that the energy level in Washington has changed. When the Redskins are doing well or the Wizards are doing well, which, you know, it's far and few between, at that point, everybody's a little happier. Everybody's honking a little bit less. Everybody's giving less finger signs to, to people. It's, it's wonderful. It's a great time in Washington. And for all the people who are coming to visit and the Stanley Cup goes into June, it's a great thing. What will it take for the Capitals to pull this one off against Tampa Bay to head to the Stanley Cup? They need to continue to do what they're doing, not taking the game so seriously and looking for the next game instead of the next six. And let's hope that they do get past Tampa because Tampa's a great team. And let's hope that they play Las Vegas because it'll work out on my family's end either way. We still have Caps jerseys here for sale. Six jerseys and, and I've reduced the price just because there's only six left. <laughs>